Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install actual budget on Cost OS using Big Bear Cost OS. Um, a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, so installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on discourse, so go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So, let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what will be installed today, a local first per personal finance app. Um, here's what it looks like. The budget, off budget, it keeps track of the dates. And reports, schedules, pays, rules, settings. Um, and uh, we will be installing the server, so actual server. And um, so that's what we'll be installing today. So now I'm going to start on Big Bear Casa OS. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. And uh, th this is a third party app store maintained by Big Bear Tech World and the Big Bear community. Um, uh, it has quite, quite a few apps in it nowadays, and it's getting more and more by the day. Um, when I add some, and when the Big Bear community adds some. Um, so, uh, the custom app stores are supported on Cost OS version 0 0.4.4 or newer. Uh, you need a newer version number than this. I did make a video on how to install Big Bear Cost OS on Cost OS, but I'm going to go over and in this video as well. So I'm gonna scroll back up. I'm gonna to go to the app store URL right here. I'm gonna go over this copy. I'm gonna copy it and then I'm gonna go over to my cost OS and get the app store set up. So I'm gonna start on my cost OS. I'm gonna to go to app store and then I'm gonna go over to add source over here. I'm going to click it then I text input pops out. I'm gonna paste in the URL that we copied. I'm gonna press add and then now we have 140 apps. So if you already had a app store installed, a third party app store, you would, you would click on this and then you'd say add source and then you uh, put it in here and then press add. Um, so I'm gonna refresh the page. I'm gonna go back into the app store. Then I'm going to go down here to Big Bear Cost OS and you can see the app we're gonna install, but you can see all the other apps and uh, if you, if you pick this category of Big Bear Cost OS, you, you'll only see the apps in Big Bear Cost OS. So that's how to get the app store uh, set up. So now I'm going to start on Big Bear Cost OS. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. And I'm going to go into the apps. And then I'm going to go to actual server right here, Docker Compose. So the Cost OS uh, uh, app name is called Big Bear Actual Server. I'm going to set the services and then the service underneath the service is called app. The image is coming off Docker Hub because there's no URL before this. It's actual budget and then actual server. And then this is the Docker image tag, 23.12.1. The container name is going to be called actual server. And then the volumes, so data, app data, dynamic variable, which is gotten from the name up here. And then on the container is data. You do not change the container side at all. And the same go goes with the ports. So this is the, le the left is the host, the right is the container. Now, if this does collide with another uh, port on your host, you can change it in the Cost OS wo Web UI. Uh, so it's 5006 on the host, 5006 on the container. The restart policy is set to unless stop, so that means if you stop it for no reason, it will not try to restart, but if it fails or any other reason, then it will try to restart. And now I'm going to set some cost to OS specific configuration to explain. And um, now for, for the App Store, I'm going to set some cost to OS specific configuration. So the architectures that the Docker image up here supports is AMD64 and ARM64. This main is set to the service a name up here of app and then the, the description of the actual budget the tagline the developer uh the author uh which is big bear community and i should put a developer in there um uh this was made by the big bear community so uh the the docker compo compose was 
not the actual actual server of course and then now the icon is set right here the thumbnail the title and the category so you can see all of the big bird cost os apps in one spot and now the port map is 5006 and this rounds with the host port up here 5006 so that's a little bit about the docker compose for actual server in big bear cost os so i wanted to let you know uh, about the big bear club uh, uh, uh you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and i very much appreciate it so uh if you'd like to join the big bear club you can go down the youtube description and uh, go to my ko-fi link and join it from there so let's get back to registered programming so now we're going to install the actual server so i'm going to go in the app store i'm going to go to actual and then now you can know it's coming from big bear cost os because of this so i'm going to go into it i'm going to install now you can continue in background, but what this is doing is it's pulling down the uh, a, a Docker con uh, images from the registry, getting them extracted and getting them up with Docker Compose underneath. So we can see it's up and running. So we, we got it done. So now I'm gonna show you the cost OS options for actual budget. So I'm gonna go up these vertical dots. You can open into the web UI. You can set some tips. So you can go down this edit button and click it and then, pre and then uh, put something in here, a value. And then save, you reload the container in the background, say actual budget is okay. You can go back in the vertical, uh, vertical dots, you can go to tips, you can see it did save. You can go into settings right here, you can change some of these and then press save. You can also go into the uh, ter a terminal for the container, there you go, you're in the ca container now. You can uh, see the logs, it, that's it. this is great for debugging. So you can export the Docker Compose here. You can go back into the vertical dots and then you can check for updates and then you can uninstall, restart, and fire off and on. So that's the cost OS options for actual budget. So now I'm going to go over the files. So if you go in the files app in cost OS, you can go to the app data right here, a big bear actual server, and then you can see all your server files, your user files, and migrate. You can go into it, see your SQLite on your accounts. You can see your user files here. You can come up here to the check mark and then um, you can download, copy, cut, delete, cancel. You can also go up here to uh, the top right, download, copy path, rename, cut, copy, share, and then delete. So that's where your files are located. So now I'm gonna go in the UI um, for actual budget. So you can go, you can open it from here. You can go up here to open to so once you do this it's going to say fatal error because you're not using hps and you don't have access to shared array buffer um so i'm going to go into advanced options and i'm going to bypass this i understand the risk and i'm going to open actual budget now okay now you're going to put in your password so password and then password so once you do that you're going to just say okay and then now you can import your budget. You can start from scratch. So you'll see all your accounts here. You can add an account. So, okay, now you can add a balance. And then you can also make it off budget or there. So I'm gonna create it. So now you can go into it. You can make a transfer. You can manage pay payees. You can look at your budget here and the months. You can see your ports, schedules, you can add a new schedule down here. And um, you can see more, you can see the payees here, the rules, the settings. So this is your client version, your server version, and themes, the formatting, end-to-end -end encryption, and then export. And then you can show uh, advanced settings down here. And you can reset things. You can also see your accounts over here, and then you can add an account. Um, you can also rename a budget. You can go into the settings again, and then help, and then cl close file. You can change the theme from dark to light mode. You can also um, make your, uh, your values over here not seeable until you hover over them with this icon up here. And then you can sync to server, so you can sync to the actual server there. 
You can come up here, you can change your password in that, uh, for some reason that's not working, but, um, okay, now you can sign out. You can change your server URL right here. You can delete this one and um, you can create a new file. And then there you go, you're back into there. And then you can sync that. For some reason, the change password's not sticking. You can change the URL right here. Um, so, I'm gonna sign back in real quick. And then there we go. We got actual budget running on Cost OS. And roll the bloopers. Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install actual budget on Cost OS uh, using Big Bear Cost OS. Uh, it's maintained by Big Bear Tech World and the Big Bear community. Darn, I forgot what I was going to say. Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install actual uh, server on uh, Cost OS using Big Bear Cost. I shouldn't have said actual server; should say actual budget. <laughs> Hello, up. Oh, this is supposed to be an outro. So I just went over step by step on getting uh, actual uh, budget running on Cost OS using a uh, Big Bear Cost OS. So, um, shoot, messed that one up. So I just went over step by step on getting, um, shoot, forgot the name of it. Um, oh, actual budget running on Cost OS using Big Bear Cost OS. So I hope you enjoyed the bloopers. And if you did, make a comment down below and let me know if you uh, want me to do some more of them at the end of the videos now, from now on. So uh, videoing's not easy and uh, I want to show, I guess, the behind the scenes parts. So stay tuned for more. So I just went over everything step by step uh, to get actual budget running on Cost OS using Big Bear Cost OS. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need community support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.